welcome back to What's in Our Backyard. Today, the plant that I found was most prevalent in my garden beds, and it is one of my favorite uh, lawn plants, weed plants, and one of the first edible weed plants I found. So we talked about the first medicinal plant I saw. This is the first uh, edible plant that I found out about. You come on down here. It's this one right now. So we're in the garden bed right now that doesn't really have anything in it, so we're just letting the, the weeds kind of go. And I'm glad, because I got this great specimen right here. So as you can see, we have our three leaves, and we have a little bit of yellow buds. It haven't quite opened yet. Uh, some of you might recognize this. It's a playground favorite to munch on, so you can just eat the whole leaf. And you can actually eat the entire plant including when it starts to fruit. This is called wood sorrel. Now it might look like a clover, but it's not, it's a little bit different. Wood sorrel has the same three leaves, but when you look at the leaf, it's heart shaped, it has that vein in between. Meanwhile, a regular clover, it's conveniently over, located here. It's growing over here as a a little boost to our soil, it has the circular leaves. Now this is red clover that we've been growing. So it has circular leaves. So that's clover. We're looking at wood sorrel. Now, the, the name is Oxalis, and there is so many types of sorrel and wood sorrel. One of my favorite ones, they can get so pretty. The common one that you see here, and that you've probably seen in the yards or the playground, is our yellow wood sorrel. Now you might see the common wood sorrel in out in the woods where it has the pink and white flower. There's a really pretty variety that people like to plant that is like a deep purple leaf instead. I really enjoy that, but I would have a hard time not eating it all. I don't remember anyone telling me that I could eat this except another kid. And I don't know where they learned that, but from another kid. So it's just kind of this like grade school secret, but not so secret. So. People have so many different names for this plant. So sour clover, sour banana, sour, false shamrock, all kinds. Now the thing you can't see here yet because it's a little bit early is that these will, when they become a seed pod, uh, get these long little pods, um, hence the name sour bananas because they look like small green bananas. And you can eat those too. They taste the same, a little bit sour sweet. This is mostly used for desserts when people eat it or cook with it. What I think is cool about this is the way the seeds are dispersed. So if you leave that sour banana alone and let it mature, and then something comes along and touches it, it will actually explode and their seeds will land up to 12 feet away from them. Because I remember eating them as a kid and they would pop in my mouth, which I just love because, you know, pop rocks are a thing. Why not? that but with edible plants. They taste tart but not unpleasant like some of our nice sour candy. Wood sorrel is a herb that is native to the United States and like a lot of native things that we're just kind of learning about and liking to eat. Uh, the indigenous nations here have been using them and eating them for much much longer than we've been here. The Iroquois people use this to relieve cramps, fever, and nausea while the Potawatomi use this to make a dessert, which I would love to try someday. And another interesting use for this is that the Kaewa people would chew on it to alleviate thirst during really long trips. While you might just have learned about it, I hope that you might take some time to learn about how it's been used for much longer. Thank you.